Yo, people, it is I, J, Reaper, X. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, today, we're not doing a what if, but uh, I'm just going to read you guys some story that I did for a project a few years back. If you guys enjoy it, uh, I'll try to write a part two of it. Uh, continuation. So anyways, let's get started. Hello, my name is Kuroki Genjitsu. I'm a very scrawny kid and I'm also quite physically different compared to the other kids at my school. I am of darker color and I'm a little taller than the average Japanese kid. Apparently, my parents brought me from Congo to Japan in order for me to have a better life, but they abandoned me right after dropping me to the orphanage. I still take pride in my country of origin, but I also embrace Japanese culture since I was born here. I don't feel discriminated against for my color since I act like all Japanese people usually do. I'm glad that I fit in well. Apparently, I'm quite a rare person since I have blue eyes and I have natural wave, a hairstyle that takes quite a lot of time to do and is mostly for black people. I'm what people call a weeb since I read a lot of manga and I watch anime. Man, I wish I had powers just like the protagonists I always look at. And suddenly, my life changed as I was being sucked in by a square-shaped portal and was being transported into an unknown world. There were monsters that were as tall as eight-story buildings. I was lucky that they didn't see me yet, otherwise I would have been dead meat. But of course, nothing goes according to the plan. The monsters turned their attention to me and I was petrified. But then... A screen popped up in front of me saying, Awakening requirements. Survive three hours without getting killed. This got me flabbergasted, but I had to survive no matter what. I then began running and hiding for the past three hours, stripping myself from the pride of my previous world as I was no longer an apex predator. Humans are the most dominant species, they said. But now I've changed my mind. As I was about to be devoured by a monster, a protective barrier surrounded me, surrounded me, and the monsters couldn't bite me at all. I was happy. I survived those hideous monsters that were even worse than Satan. And I was finally ready to awaken. The screen in front of me said, Congratulations, Blair. You have survived three hours in Door Dimension S. The reward for completing the quest is a power of your choice. I was incredibly happy that it was worth the torment. After having some thought, I just said out loud, Power Fruit. One Piece was my favorite anime on Earth, so I decided to just be able to summon any Power Fruit I want. Thankfully, the hovering screen in front of me that I decided to call system accepting my request for this power. I looked at all the abilities that were in my arsenal and I discovered that my power heavily relied on my physical strength. So I started training like a lunatic. And after about five years of smelling and seeing disgusting remnants of monsters, I am now 20. I've grown to eight feet tall and I'm beyond that a superhuman that has mastered his powers. After mastering the power given to me, the system transported me to a world that was in great danger. It was the world of Panga, a world that was stuck in the medieval times and desperate need of help since a door dimension known as the apocalypse appeared and Andrews were getting killed day by day. I arrived in a deserted village through a portal and started sightseeing until I saw some sign of civilization. I was in front of the gates and the guards were astonished by me since they never saw someone like me. I saw their dumbfounded face and I assured them that I was a human and I was there to help them with the door dimension. They believed me and were relieved so I was able to enter the city the last standing
I stayed there for one night at an end. And the next day, the door that I mentioned opened up. All the adventurers present were stupefied at my size and my muscles. We didn't have time to focus on that. We entered the world and their dimension, door dimension. Then we saw behemotic monsters, but they were no match for me since I just ate the quake fruit, a fruit that allows me to create earthquakes anywhere. The gate was relatively easy to clear, and all the adventurers were rejoicing that they finally cleared the door dimension. I caused terror all over the world of Panga. Then came out of the gate as it closed behind us, and everyone was cheering on us, cheering us on. And then, suddenly, a portal appeared behind me. And as the celebrations were going on, everybody looked at me as I fell into the portal, not knowing where my next, my next destination would be. Thank you guys for looking at the video. And if you need a part two, just tell me and I'll see you next time. Peace out.